Greetings! It's me, Firebee, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Enhanced. Last time, we did some stuff against Team Galactic, we did some grinding, and we battled Mars, Bringer of War. That was a heck of a thing, just on its own. Because sudden level spikes, they exist, you know? So here's the current team layout. Nothing's changed since the end of last episode. Let's see what this guy has to say. Ah yes, honey on trees, they exist. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go into a turn of forest? Sure. Camper Jacob, with a Ponyta. A level 17 Ponyta, I'm a little bit behind the curve here. That's fine, because pudding and handle this. And Pudding needs levels, too. You just go for a Rock Tomb here. Drop some rocks on the Fire Horse. And with it being boosted, yeah, that's about what I expected. Rock Tomb's not a hugely powerful move. Pretty glad I haven't gotten burned yet. Because I'm pretty sure Ember has the chance of burning. <laughs> I really dampened my spirits. Heard that really tough Pokemon appear in Return of Forest. Oh no. Need to be more prepared than this. Yeah, you know what? Same. Since I have a lot of potions, I may as well just use one. There we go. That'll do. And let's see what that item is there. An X Special Defense. Something I will likely never use. Ha! Huh, this one's neat. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike! Yeah! <laughs> here goes! Okay. Oh, hey, it's an unknown. It's an O. You know, I think Starburst can handle this. There's a, um, a house back in, in Floroma that has the TM for Pluck, but I haven't taught it. I'm not actually sure if I picked it up in this save state, but I haven't picked it up because Wing Attack does the same thing, really, except without the whole berry bit. Unknown down. 169 experience. Level 14, get. And a Geodude. Yeah, I'll switch. Outputting. And here comes Geodude. Level 14 Geodude. This is a lot better. We'll go for Rock Smash. And the entire point of the move is for this. Just for non moving Geodudes. Too bad about the low power of it, though. It really makes it less than useful. It's trying to buff itself, but I don't think that's going to help it much. Maybe it'll survive one more turn. I didn't think so, though. Geodude down. Pudding gets to level 16. And a Pineco. That's a bug type, I think. I'm just going to stay in with Pudding here. Uh, I can just drop some rocks on it, because that's my strongest attack, pretty much. Too bad there's no poison-type attacks that I can learn yet. 
That'd be terrific if Pudding could learn some actual attacks. That'd be terrific. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure that only eats berries. I'm not holding a berry. Uh... Hmm. Nah, no double protecting. Not on my watch. Just rocks. All up in your face. And we beat the hiker. Oh yeah, a refreshing battle that was. Here we go. Starburst is evolving. The first evolution. Congratulations, your Starburst has evolved into Staravia. And let's go see how the stats have changed. That's pretty nice. Also, it now has Intimidate. So that's neat. That exists. Let's see, 28, 35, 44. Still has the lowest attack of everybody. But that can be dealt with. I love Pokemon that smell sweet. Like this one, get a whiff of this. Sounds like something you'd hear before somebody, like, presses a cloth of chloroform on your face or something. Here, get a whiff of this. What? But I'm sure Roselia by any other name would still smell as sweet. And it's a good experience for Starburst. Quite a lot of experience, even. That's like a level and a half on its own. Did you understand what I meant? Didn't it smell nice? I mean, it's it's a thing holding roses. What? What's the point of this? Aha! I thought there had to be something hidden up here. Long way between Gloroma and Eterna City, so let's battle! Alright. With an Apom. Okay. A level 17 Apom. That could be bad. But less so after the Intimidate. We'll go for a wing attack. Oh no! Oh wait, that actually does... Attack and defense. I thought that was just special attack. Oh, well, this is irritating. We're not keen eye anymore. Of course, as soon as we're not keen eye anymore, we get sand attacked. At least we hit that turn. We're still doing a decent amount. What? You baton pass after you raise your own stats, not after you lower someone else's stats. That was a really bad switch. That's not going to help you much. Like, good luck with that, but it's not going to help you much. And Sunkern down. If anything, it just passed a minus one to the A-Palm, and now it doesn't have it. Or whichever way would that work. Yeah, it'd be terrific if you did not do that. If you could not do that, that'd be great. Thank you. One more of those. I think a bird just hit one of our windows. 
happens occasionally, unfortunately. Wow. This is just here to be a nuisance, isn't it? I wonder if it actually has any attacks at all. I don't think so. I think it actually doesn't have any attacks. Wow. Just there to waste time. Bravo. Starburst level 16 now. And we beat you. I'm out of Pokemon that can go. Don't expect a lot of success in the forest if that's what you were planning on taking. Caving with Pokemon, do you have any idea how fun that is? I can guess. The trainer's best friend. No, I'm going to go get that item. Even though it means going through the grass here. And battling you. What kind of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? Well, if what people have is any idea, annoying ones. A Spearow. I believe I have the better bird here. Go for a good wing attack here. Yep. Good job on the crit, Starburst. And a Sentret. Nah, I'm good. Starburst has this. Oh no! Like 3 HP. Very close to taking that out in one hit. But that's what Squick Attack is for. Getting those last couple of HP. Level 17, yeah. Probably that's the fastest, uh... experience group in the... in the team. What is this item here? A Heal Ball! Okay. Maybe I'll use that at some point. I'm not sure I've actually ever used a Heal Ball. Before. Fetch a berry. I'm not gonna plant them there because that's a little bit out of the way. To get to. What is up here? You. I've lost my way. Here of all places. How have you lost your way? It's literally straight down and then to the right from there. From your perspective. To get to back to Floroma. How did you get lost? You went, you walked a straight line and got lost. How does that even happen? Whoa. Level 16 Heracross. Uh, hello, you exist. Good thing we have Intimidate. Uh, wing attack that thing. Quickly. I'm not hugely worried about that. Dirt the hit. Cool. Alright. If that's how you want to go about it. Yeah, no. That's not gonna happen. Get out of here. Even more experience. Where's an experience share when you need it? Wants to learn Endeavor. See, that's more when I'm at low health. I'm not going to be at low health very often. Yeah, I give up on never. I don't want to never. Having lost his way, the trainer lost this battle too. And you just became a hiker because you are up in the mountains so long. I guess that's one way to do it. Here's a rappel. Hey. There's no holding anything back! Battle! Four Pokemon. I think I'll let Starburst handle these. Although at some point I'll have to switch Starburst out so that Pudding can get some experience. A 
Mankey? No, I think I'm good. If this is all you have, then this ought to be a clean sweep for Starburst here. Hopefully it is. Because that would be make things a lot easier. Hitmonlee. I didn't expect that, but okay, sure. You have fun with your level 13 Hitmonlee, despite the fact that I'm pretty sure that uh, Tyro doesn't actually evolve until level 20. So, pretty sure on that one. Level 19. Oh hey, here's a Tyro. To be honest, I expected a Hitmonchan. Or a Hitmon top, I suppose. There we go. Dealt with. And... You concede. I think you're on a different level. No, I just have a bird. Don't you know, bird is the word. I think everybody knows. Oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Sure, why not? With a Piplup. Pudding might have a little bit of difficulty with this. Let's see if I can actually manage to poison it. That'd be nice. Come on. You gotta be kidding me, Pudding. You have yet to hit a poison gas ever. Try again. We'll give you back 20 HP. Why not? Yes, you continue bubbling and trying to lower my speed despite the fact that speed doesn't matter when you are already out speeding, because this is a pile of sludge. Let's see if I can't poison it now. Come on. Hey! Pudding finally hit a poison gas! Huzzah! Huzzah! Then we'll just continue pounding at it. Oh. That was a crit. That happened. Let's go heal again. And it turns out I was indeed safe to not heal last turn. I thought I might have been in trouble if there was a crit, but I was pretty sure I could survive. And I was right. Piplup painted. Finally. Oh, boo, how insulting. Listen very carefully. Closely. Can you hear the cries of Pokemon? Not right now. A super potion. That'll be nice. Have along with me. Alright, what's in this house here? Bells are useful, don't you think? What do you have to say? You seem to be tired. Rest a while. Yes! Free heal. Completely refreshed. Alright. Let's do this. Eterna Forest. What's up this way? Two freaking trees. What a what a way to block me off. Many poison-type Pokémon make the Eterna Forest their home, but I didn't find any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on, or do I go back? You can't die of po poison except for in battle. So, as long as you have enough healing items. Do I? Yeah, I'll manage. I'll manage. Um, sure. I have a little bit of time. Oh, 
I really like the music in here. What's, what is it about music in games about forests that is so good? Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are... Oh, your name is Fire. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. May I ask a big favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about... I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? Well, I mean, I... you didn't give me a choice, but sure. Oh, keep your Pokémon in perfect health. You will? Oh, this'll be excellent! Bug Pokémon are great, you know? Here's an antidote, in case I need it. Oh, here we go. I was starting to think we wouldn't get any encounters. Kakuna and Silcoon. Whoa, you have an Ampharos? A level 20 Ampharos. I'm pretty sure Ampharos doesn't evolve at 20. Pretty sure on that. Well, it's enough to take out a Kakuna. This ought to be excellent for grinding. Quite excellent indeed. Does it also... Yes! Alright. This is going to be terrific. What's this rock? Covered in moss. It feels pleasantly cool. Oh, okay. Oh, I bet that's where you get Leafy on. Oh, I didn't realize I was actually standing in grass. Oh yeah, it's a Buneary. I've never actually managed to get a Buneary and evolve. Like, I generally have pretty good luck generally all right at getting uh, happiness Pokemon evolved, but I've never gotten Buneary to actually evolve on me. I don't know why. You know, I know all the ways of making, you know, of having, getting the Pokemon to max happiness and all of that, but I've never gotten one to evolve yet. It's weird. Regatod faints. If I didn't already have three physical attackers, I might consider getting a Buneary. Just to see if I can't. Nah. I considered it for a moment. But nah. Um... This would actually be a perfect chance to catch a Buneary. But nah, I think I'll, I'll decide on it later. If I want one or not. Are you sure about that? Because I think attacking is its strong point. It's knocked out everything in one shot so far. I also don't know exactly how well of a healer an Ampharos is. I think you could probably deal with things just fine. Oh, yeah, it's a double battle. What's cool, you might ask? N no? I'll tell you anyhow. Hey, bug Pokemon! We're just out on a power walk. That's why we're standing still. Walking so powerfully, you can't even see the movement. So powerful. Hey, it's Pachirisu. We'll drop some rocks on the Wurmple. Pachirisu learns Endure? But why? Huh. 
Oh, I see. That's not going to do much. Silcoon. Let me deal with the Silcoon, please. I quite appreciate it. No, of course not. That, that would be silly. Oh, well, at least I get to take it out. wonder if that Petrizu actually absorbs electricity or not. I'm gonna continue doing a rock tomb. Like, that's not changing. Oh, good. Oh, that's just not on me. I thought that was gonna drop everybody's attack, Arsley, and that was not going to be good. Oh, the bugs are out of the way. Pudding gained a level. Pudding must be in a far slower... A far slower experience. Whatever it's called. It grows slower. We'll put it that way. Actually, it's kind of hard. Well, we know it doesn't absorb electricity. Or else it would have gained health from that. So why haven't you been thundershocking it this entire time? Seriously, that would make things so much better. Oh, good. We're paralyzed. You're not fainting this turn, Pachirisu. Like, we can't hit you that hard. Nah. This turn, though, yes. Probably. There's a good chance of it. Yep. A hundred percent chance of it. Don't ignore bug Pokemon, that really bugs me! Oh, you. No, wait, this isn't being competitive now. That'd be silly. You can't avoid, avoid bug Pokemon ever in the forest. I didn't have any antidotes with me either, it was the worst! And that's why you're still standing in the forest. Uh-huh. It would seem that coolness alone doesn't really add up to any wins. Yeah, you know what, you're probably right there. And a Paralyze Heal. If I weren't being constantly healed, that would be terrific. Uh... It's... Wow, it's almost 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. And y let y'all listen to this music for a little bit. Um... Next time, we will carry on through the forest and possibly make our way out. I don't actually know exactly how long it is. We'll just have to find out next time. So keep an eye out for that, and until then, farewell. <laughs>